This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where'd you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about him. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your boy's night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So, I gotta hit Carrie's digs. Look around. Critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed. Attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior. Mm-hmm. First rogue, now carry. Who's next on the list of conjugal visits? Nobody. Just so happens the list of people I consider friends and who are still alive is pretty damn short. Exactly why I need to talk to Carrie. What's our move? What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first. We gotta get into that house. Okay. Just let me know when you want to take the wheel.
The hell is this freak tech? Fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Probably the only actual necessity in this whole pad. Beautiful butterfly carry emerging from his silky samurai chrysalis. <laughs> oh, fuck. Cookie cutter crap straight from a catalog. Doubt carry picked this. Always ate out. Always. Then he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for? Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. What's this? Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Okay. Even I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave, it'd be that one. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. like that run us many eddies forget it we couldn't afford it that's carrie's fave
Looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. <sighs> Feels so much better. Now let's see what you're up for show and what you're actually strummable. Lost everything. Who the fuck? Keep playing. All right. No. no this is some fucking joke. Hang on. What did Silverhand tell me before he died? There's a test. Could just play you another song. Answer me. Told you to leave Samurai. Go your own way. Clearly I was right, as I often am. Johnny fucking Silverhand. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay, weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Nice rack. Sporting a new style? Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like her? The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit. And now you've just popped by to shit all over my life? Well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck! Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Stuff about you being depressed. It true? Nope. Promo strategy. Suicide attempts, too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. 
Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me. Got no answer to that. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had Ned do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart imp, that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would have had to get in line, that's why. Who's that? Luis, the ex-wife. The what? <laughs> You're kidding. How long did last? Eh, hey, too long. But don't worry. It worked out well. For her. Gave her my house in Tokyo. Cars. Kids. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for you, too, then. Still in touch with the gang? Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together, you know, jam or something? Best Isis. Damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would've heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. Few calls and I should be able to track him down. Then he might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. His spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Nah, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. I'm not there. Figure it out with V. Sure. Uh, you two get along? Not lately, no. We don't have much of a choice, though. How am I... Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Want to see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, call in Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice.
Nancy? I mean... Bess? Bess Isis? No. This is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Wanna talk to Bess? She's not here. Calling from Carrie Uridine's residence. Cool. But Bess still isn't here. She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. We better head <laughs> to the Totentons. <laughs>